Well, this comes down to our next slide, which is energy. Now, I will tell you that's the one thing that I always get a comment on. People always say to me, I wish I had your energy. And I have to tell you, my son, who I told you is 51, he said to me, Mom, I don't have your energy. I could never do what you do. And he's a bodybuilder. I mean, he works out all the time. But he doesn't have my energy. And I'm not sure where it comes from. I have to be honest in telling you that. I've always had a lot of energy. I always did many things at one time. In high school, I, I got through in three years. And uh, I gave a concert uh, on the piano. And I sang and I danced with a partner on stage. And when I was in college, I got through in three years and, and was always, I, I worked, I was teaching modeling and I was working all the time and I was in all the musicals and I played the piano for the choir. And then when I got my uh, uh, doctorate, I, was go I had my business and everything. I mean, I've always done two, three, four things at one time. But that's, that's the energy that I have. And I think the energy comes from the very first thing I told you, positive thinking. It comes from the title of this program, Mindset Matters. It comes from all the things we've talked about, not having a reaction to all the abrasive incidents that happen in your day. Uh, it happens from smiling and not being gloomy about everything. It comes from knowing what I do control and what I don't control. It comes from having great coping mechanisms. So it, it comes from everything we've talked about so far. But energy is key. And I think energy comes from exercise. I have to say that. I do think you should exercise. Now, you sure don't have to do what I do. I do a lot of exercise. But I will tell you, I'm aging. My bones are aging. Where I used to work out with 8 and 10-pound weights, I now work out with 3 and 5-pound weights. Where I used to be able to do the push-ups and all those kinds of sit-ups, because I've had 16 surgeries on my chest and I have no chest muscles because I've had a double mastectomy and I have no chest muscles at all. I do my own push-ups on a bike handles or the Smith machine, but not on the floor. I can only do crunches to a certain point, but what I do gives me energy again, because it, it produces endorphins and all the other things that, you know, we've talked about and so forth. But I want you to know, whether you do yoga, whether you do swimming, whether you do Pilates, Tai Chi, whether you do um, uh, whatever, you know, whatever it is, whether, whether you're doing a, 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 a weight-bearing exercise, which I believe everybody should be doing because that strengthens your bones. And I do have to tell you, my bone density is better now than it was 20 years ago. Now, they do adjust it as you age, but my bone density is very good. Whatever you do, it's important. I don't care if you ride a bike. You can do the elliptical machine. You can do the treadmill. You can do whatever it is you want to do, but you've got to do something. All of that produces energy. And all that energy, again, goes into the smile, the greeting of people, the positive thinking, the coping mechanisms, uh, handling the stress that happens to you, all of that. So energy, energy is so key. And when I say what is the first thing that you notice about me? I've asked, I don't know, hundreds of people this. Or even look at the evaluations when I do a speech, and I'll say, uh, I'll say, put down the things that you notice about me. How can I improve? That kind of thing. They always say energy and enthusiasm. Those two things come out in every single thing I do. Energy and enthusiasm. And if people can say you're enthusiastic, if people can say you're energetic, I feel your energy. It makes a difference. Now, I, I know that a lot of healers and a lot of people who are in the healing profession will talk about that energy aura around you. What you when you walk into a room, that feeling that you give off. That's great. I think that's great. If you can give off that aura. I mean, I do know people when they walk into a room, I mean, they just bring this light and energy with them. And I say, oh, my gosh. I wish I could be like that. I'm too hyper for that. But they just kind of walk into a room and it's almost like an angel is floating by. I think it's fantastic. That's a different kind of energy, but it's still energy. So my energy is a little more hyper and their energy is a little more subtle. But energy is a key to, again, how your mindset is. So think about that.